Hi folks, this is Steve Grono, and I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of this 2014 Heartland Prowler model 32 BHS bunkhouse. Uh, I am a home builder, I live in Howell, Michigan. Years ago I was in the car business. I sold my company in 1999 to Ford, and I guess I kind of missed the car business. So now I'm, my hobby, weekend hobby, is puts around with these repossessed RVs. This is a bank repo. Um, I'm gonna tell you all about it in detail so that you'll be comfortable. It's a really nice unit. Okay, let me start at the front. Uh, it has two new 30 pound propane tanks under here, under this cover. The battery is also new. This is a diamond plate sort of stone shield that goes across the front of the rig. There's a little docking light over there. The front of this is all nice. There's no stone chips or bruises in it. You'll find the vinyl transfer uh, graphics to be clean and nice and bright. There's no peeling or checking on any of that. Coming around the right side, this is the basement storage. This door is approximately 28 to 30 inches wide. It's about 18 tall. It opens up larger in there in this, in this basement storage. The interior dimension is approximately 32 inches wide. It's approximately 22 tall and it's the full width of the rig. It has two lights in it right there. Um, <clears throat> also coming down the right side, I'm gonna try to show you the body on it. The body on it is, uh, is very nice. The graphics, again, nice. No peeling, no checking, no problems. And everything is shiny. I'm not sure how much of that you can see in the video, but it's all clean and nice. This is the forward entry door. We'll go in there in a minute. Again, this is a model 32 BHS Prowler. And, uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, on this side, you, you have your potable water fill right here. There's an outdoor plug right here. This is a service panel for the hot water tank. It is a six gallon hot water tank. Up above, there is a 16 or an 18 foot Dometech awning. It is clean and nice. I've run it out, it's power. No rips, no tears, no problems. There's a, a orange um, porch light up there, two outdoor speakers. This is the vent for the overhead um, over your three burner cooktop right there. This is the service panel for the refrigerator. This is your vent and intake for your furnace. All that furnace and everything works perfectly. We've gone through all the systems on it. The tires on it literally look like new. I don't think this rig has really more than a couple of trips on it. It wasn't used very much at all, as you'll see when you get to the interior. Uh, this is the uh, pressure water from your campground. This is the secondary entrance right here. It has two doors on the right side. This is so that the kids can run in and out of the bathroom without tracking up the camper. Um, outdoor uh, kitchen is right here in the, in the back. Does have a uh, little apartment sized fridge right here. There's a cable hookup where you can set a TV right here and you can have a picnic table and you can have a TV right there. Hot and cold water in the overmount sink. This is a laminate countertop. The countertop is nice. There's no scratches or marks or blemishes in it. There's two drawers underneath here. Um, basically silverware drawers. This is only approximately three and a half inches tall. It's about 18 deep and it's about 12 wide. There's two of those, both the same. Then up above there's some cabinets. Right here you have a larger pantry style cabinet for I guess snacks and chips and stuff and food. Um, this one is about 12 deep, it's 22 inches wide, and it's about 14 tall, and there are two spaces like that in there. Cabinets are solid maple. Up over here, this one, again about 12 deep, um, it actually opens up right across, so this is all one space. So again, you have that similar 18 tall, and it's about 22 wide right there. There's a double light right here underneath the uh, door. So that's your outdoor kitchen uh, right there. Coming around the back, there is a manual landing jack around the back, rear bumper. Uh, this is another city water connection right here. Hot and cold outdoor shower right here. Uh, again, the finish on this is real nice and bright and clean. This is done in like shades of grays and silvers on the exterior. Uh, there is a new spare underneath that cover. It doesn't have uh, any use of it on it at all. It's, it's literally new, has never been down. So, okay, let me get you around the left side here. Uh, left side has, you know, another landing gear in the back. There are two slides. The rear slide is approximately six to seven feet wide, and that takes in the bunkhouse. I'll show you that when we get inside. And then this forward slide is larger. Uh, this one is about 12 feet wide. In the center of the two is where you plug in your power. I do not have a power cord for this, but it does take a standard 30 amp uh, power cord right there. And this is your cable hookup right here. Again, the tires and wheels are all real nice and clean under there. And there's your dump tank right there, your black and gray water underneath there on the left side. Um, there's windows in this slide. Both of them have screens and they do slide open as well. This window is fixed. 
Uh, then coming around the front, another window, this goes into the forward master. And then you have access on this side for your basement storage. Here's your uh, manufacturer tag, 9,900 pounds wet. You generally subtract about 1,800 pounds for all your fluids, cargo, and gear. So the dry weight of this rig would be uh, right around 8,000, 8 to 8,200 pounds. And we're there. So we'll come around the front. It's a 2 and 5 sixteenths ball on the hitch. Okay, so let's go inside. Okay, kind of quick tour of that. All right, here we go. Okay, this, um, this rig is a family style rig, of course. It's designed for hauling a bunch of kids around. I'll give you a little bit of a view of the whole salon area and then I'll kind of go around it in a little more detail for you, give you a better idea of how it lays out. Okay, so um, we're on the, this would be the right side of the rig coming in the door. First thing you have is a little cubby here for keys and stuff. Below that is a pull-out shelf right there for a trash bin, which would go right here. It's handy for getting it right outside. This is a laminate countertop. It's clean. There's no scratches in it or nicks or marks or bings or bongs or any burn marks or anything like that. It's real clean. This is the overmount sink. This is a jumbo sink. It's a 50-50 with double drain. It does have a oil rub bronze fixture on it. Of course, hot and cold. Uh, there's blinds on all the windows, and these window treatments are really nice. They're fabric that goes along with the earth tones in the rig. Then there's this little shelf up here for knickknacks and a light. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of your main uh, sink area. Underneath right here, you've got drawers. This is again is like a silverware drawer. It's only about uh, three and a half inches tall. It's about 12 wide and about 18 deep. There are one, two, three of these. To the right of that, this one opens up into that space under the under the sink. It's an odd shape, um, kind of a triangular shape. Can't put a lot in there. Maybe another little trash can. A little uh, knickknack or uh, probably uh, dishcloths and stuff right in this little cubby right here. Um, coming around to the right of it, you have your suburban gas three burner cooktop right here. It's real clean. And then underneath you have your oven right there. I'll try to show you that. It's also real clean. Uh, there is a hood above that with a light and a fan. Everything works. We've checked everything out on this rig and everything works. Above that is a high point microwave. I'll try to show you this. Super clean in here. Um, looks, you know, like a new one. No, no problems in there. Then up above is an open cubby right there. That's that's for your loose stuff, I guess, uh, snacks and chips and stuff, whatever. Um, it's about seven inches tall. It's about 24 inches wide. It's pretty deep. It's about 24 inches deep also. And then to the left of that, you have your two pantry cabinets. I'll open both of these. They both open to one space. On the left, uh, this is about 16 deep and about 16 wide and about 20 tall. The one to the right of it is the same dimension, but it has a little half shelf in there, as you can see. So... Lots of stuff can be stored in there. Um, then as you move on back, this is your fridge. This is a Norcold. It's the automatic dual function. Uh, I tested it, works great. Here's the freezer, ice cold. Um, this is about 24 wide. It's about 22 tall and the depth is about 20. And there's a shelf in the middle. Then in the door, there's a little um, carrier for your liquids and stuff right here, I guess. Down below that, the fridge part right here, um, this fridge is, uh, uh, the interior dimension of this is about 28, then the depth's about 16, the height of overall is about uh, 36, Then you have uh, one, two, three, four, the fourth one has this little pullout, and then in the door, uh, there's one, two, three little um, areas for your pop and water and stuff. Again, it's working good, we tested it, no problems. Um, to the right of that is your pantry. This is a pretty good sized pantry. It's uh, approximately 22 deep. Um, it's about, it's only about 12 or 13 wide by about 12 or 13 tall. There's one, two, three, four of those in the upper pantry. Then down here, this one is just general purpose, I guess. It's the uh, same dimension, except the height's about 24. So that's pretty much your, your galley kitchen area right there. Okay, we'll go right on back. Again, we're on the right side. This is your bath. This has a nice door. There's no marks or blemishes in any of this woodwork. It's real clean and nice. Okay, in the bath, um, vanity is an overmount single oval sink. There's a GFI plug outlet. This is where you test all your stuff for your uh, fluids and your holding tanks. Um, <clears throat> uh, below this, okay, we, oh, we got pretty good size in here. This is uh, for, I guess, towels and stuff. It's about uh, 22 deep. 
It's about 24 wide. It's about 22 tall. Um, it had, does have the plumbing back in there, but you could still get a lot of towels and stuff. And then the one underneath is the same size, only without the plumbing. The tub shower, um, nobody's going to take a bath in here except a kid. It's small. It's only about, I would say, 42 inches across tops. It's about 30 wide, 28 to 30 wide. Depth is about 16. Um, but um, a tall guy can stand up in here, 6'2", six, 6'4", six, clearance. Does have a little curved dome that allows more headroom up there. Everything in here is real clean and nice. I hope you can see it in the video. Um, looks like new in there. The shower curtain is new. We just installed that. It was missing. Here's the medicine cabinet. Um, the depth is only about 4 inches deep here, 5 inches deep. This is about 24 wide by about 12 tall, and there's two shelves like that for your little toothpaste and stuff, I guess. And then the, that's the door going out. All this decor that you see, the toilet's right there, it's like new. Um, all the decor, towels, pillows, rugs, knickknacks, doodads, my wife does the decorating. Everything you see in the video comes with it. Okay, so um, let's keep on going back on the right side again. We're entering the bunkhouse now. Uh, this has a solid wood door on it for, for privacy for the kids. Uh, switch for the slide here and a light switch right here. Real easy to operate. There's a, uh, I think that's a 20, that's a 32 inch flat screen right in there for the kids. There's a cubby underneath that. This cubby is about, only about six inches tall, but it's deep. It's about 18 deep and it's about 28 wide. Below that, you have storage in here for uh, the kids to throw their I guess they're clothes and stuff. It's an odd shape, it steps back. Overall, it's, a, it's average is about 12 inches deep and about 24 tall, and it's about 30 inches wide. To the right of that, you got a larger locker right here for the kids' clothes. This one has adjustable shelves in it, and it's this space is approximately 22 wide. It's 28 tall, it's got a little hanging rod in there so you could hang clothes in there. And um, the depth is about 14. There's two spaces like that with a third one below that limits it to about 10 inches high. Then to the right, you got this cool little ladder. This ladder kind of lifts up and pulls out, stays right in there like that. And the kids can run up and down to that upper bunk. And then it provides additional cubbies for clothes and stuff. These are um, maybe, 14 by 12 by 12. There's one, two, three of those. And then up above, you got a really good size little bunk up here. This is a good uh, three feet, three and a half feet wide, maybe a little more. And it's a good six feet long. So you got plenty of room up there for somebody to bunk out. There's a reading light up top. Now we flip to the other side. There's a window and a shade there also. If you flip to the other side, you have this other bunk arrangement, smaller bunk on top. This one's about maybe 30 inches wide by six feet or so across. These uh, linens are new. And then the lower one's wider. It's about 42 inches wide by the same six or seven feet. And then underneath here, if you look, there's a really good storage area right here. I'll lift this up so you can see it. That's all the storage underneath this bed, which is the same size as the bed. That's about 18 inches deep by the same size as the bed. So uh, there you go. I guess you sleep two, three, maybe four kids in here pretty easily. So there's your uh, rear bunkhouse area. Now we're going to come up on the left side of the rig. As soon as you come out, you've got a large uh, pantry area. Not pantry, but a closet area. Let me show you the drawers first. These are, again, those smaller drawers, only about three and a half tall. Uh, 18 uh, long, deep, and by about 12 wide. There's two of those, one there and one there. This is your fuse panel. And then above this, pretty large little deal right here. I'll try to show you. I'm not sure how well that's going to turn out. Um, 18 to 20 inches wide by about 16 tall. This is deeper. This is about 24 deep and there's one, two, three, four of those. So there is quite a bit of storage um, in this in this rig. Okay, the dinette. We're on the left side now. The fabrics and stuff are super nice. No flaws, no rips, no tears, no burns, no smells, nothing. It's just flawless. The table is also no scratches, no dings, no dents. It looks good. Uh, the silver and stuff all comes with it. Um, there is storage underneath here. This is a U-shaped dinette. I guess you could seat three, four, five, six, seven, maybe six, seven people around that without too much trouble. A little clock on the wall comes with it. This is a fold-out sofa that'll sleep two more. Let me show you the fabrics. I hope you can see this in the video. They're super. These are actually just like new. You won't, um, I don't think, find any flaws in this at all. Everything is really clean and nice. No, no rips, no, no issues there. The carpet is also super nice. If you can see the carpet, it's not stained or anything. It all looks real good. And above this 
sleeper, you open these up, you have storage here. There's three doors on it. The doors all open to a common space. They have a little glass frosted panel on them. Uh, there's all your books and papers and manuals that come with it. This size of this is about 12 deep by about 12 high. And then it's all the way across here. I guess that's about five feet overall in length. And that's what you got for storage. Then against the bulkhead, the forward part of the rig, is your entertainment center. Uh, this is a new Vizio flat screen we just put in here. It's a 30, 32 inch minimum, maybe a 39 inch, probably a 39. Um, this whole thing flips around so you can so you can watch it in the forward salon if you like. It has a DVD player in it, which I got a little DVD in there running right now. This whole house audio Jensen system has Bluetooth, uh, USB, uh, DVD and CD, outdoor speakers and indoor speakers. There are three zones for the sound right there. I've tested it. It works great. Both remotes come with it. And then underneath, here you've got storage for, I guess, games and DVDs and different things like that. Not very deep, only about six inches deep right there. And the height is about 20, and the width is about 36. There's one, two, three, four compartments there uh, for storage. And then this little thing here for loose stuff, this is only about six tall, but it's about 24 wide and about uh, six deep. Uh, then you got your TV. And then up above, right here, there's more storage. Um, this is the same thing. It's about six deep. It's about 38 wide, and it's about six high. And that makes up the bulkhead right there. Now all that's left is a Ford cabin. It does have solid wood doors. Here's your thermostat right here. Solid wood doors on here. This is a, a queen bed, so it's 60 by 72. It does have all new bedding in it. Uh, all this stuff you see in here is new. It's never been slept in. Um, to the left, you have a locker right here with a mirror. This is a hanging locker. It's about 18 wide. At the bottom, it's deep. It's about 32. And the overall height's about 42, but it curves, you know, with the front of the rig. So it gets narrow at the top, wide at the bottom. And then across the top in here, you have this larger storage compartment for clothes and stuff. This one is the same depth, 18 or so. Roof come, you know, the, the wall, back wall comes up shorter, and it's the full width. So that's about 18 deep by 18 tall, and it's about four and a half feet wide from, maybe five feet wide from there to the other side. Matching locker on that side. Uh, the little plants and stuff all come with it. This bed does lift up and there's lots of storage underneath. My wife and I use baskets to throw clothes in there. It's real easy. And then here's a shot of the doors, solid wood doors with a little, this little pin kind of holds them in place. Right here you can just latch them so they don't rattle and roll around on you like so. There you go. So that's how you would normally travel with it right there. I think that pretty much covers it. Um, my name again is Steve Grono. This rig is located in Howell at my home. The zip code here is 48843. Uh, if you'd like to call me with any of your questions, I'd be happy to chat with you. My cell phone number is 810-599-5147. Um, uh, thanks so much. I hope that was helpful.